Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice or other Healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, skin care, ingredients, formulations, the longevity products, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have a comment or you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or you can go to criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Those are my blogs. We update those regularly with news stories as well as blog posts, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or you can go over to brightsideben.com as well. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, or if you like, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And of course, if you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel made without preservatives, without emulsifiers and waxes. If you tried to use retinol or retinoic acid in the past and you couldn't because it was irritating in any way, you want to check out our retinol 5% gel. You're not going to find 5% retinol anywhere, and you're certainly not going to find it without preservatives, and you're not going to find it with vitamin C. Find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. Okay. We're talking the stress hormone, the little known stress hormone called aldosterone, which in addition to helping the body handle survival threats is also involved in the release of minerals from cells into the blood, particularly sodium and potassium and chloride, also magnesium and calcium. These are electrolyte minerals. They're released out of cells into the blood in order to help the body handle the stress response. This is so, so important to recognize because it links these elements, this, what we call the electrolytes and the salts, to the emergency response. Salts are vital for how the body handles emergency, the salts we call electrolytes. And it really highlights the utter, utter biochemical ignorance of salt avoidance strategies, the salt avoidance strategies that you hear ad nauseum from the government and from doctors and the medical model in general. Why? This is craziness. The salt phobia is near the top of the list of stupid things you hear from your doctor, and it's a long list. It includes cholesterol causing heart disease, don't eat eggs, stay out of the sun, uh, wear your sunscreen to protect yourself from melanoma, don't take your supplements because they might make your immune system more powerful and interfere with your chemotherapy, don't eat broccoli because it might interfere with your vitamin K. I mean, the list of idiotic things you hear from doctors, it's nearly endless, but salt phobia has got to be near the top. Why? Well, first of all, salt is important for helping us handle stress. Number two, you can't stay away from salt. It's a vital need and cravings are built into our brain. And number three, 
Salt levels in the blood are controlled mostly via hormones and biochemistry and much, much less as a result of what we're eating. When we eat or drink too much sodium or potassium or chloride or any other electrolytes, i.e. salts, if we're healthy, these minerals are going to get excreted via the kidneys. Kidneys' job is to keep minerals in the blood at the appropriate levels, and the kidneys are exquisitely capable of doing their work when we're healthy. Can you overwhelm the system? Well, yeah, probably. But as far as their levels in the blood go, it's much more important to control the stress response and the subsequent secretion of the hormone aldosterone, the stress slash mineral hormone aldosterone, than it is to try to force yourself to go low, low salt, which is next, next to impossible. What's more, and this is very important, the relationship between elevated stress, elevated, uh, the elevated stress response and salt in the blood results in a loss of salts, a loss of sodium, a loss of chloride, a loss of potassium, in addition to a loss of calcium and magnesium. The more stress we're under, the more we're losing salt. The more stress we're under, the more salt efficient we'll be. The greater and the lo uh, longer lasting the stress response, the more likely we will be to be deficient in these minerals. And then you go and follow your doctor's advice to go low salt. Now you're really going to be salt deficient. This is why if we're under physiological stress and psychological stress, we will feel better when we drink salt water. And when we start drinking salt water, a little bit of Celtic sea salt and water, that salt water is going to taste like the most delici delicious beverage you ever had. Why? Because your body needs the salt. If you're drinking salt water, if you drink, put a little Celtic sea salt in your water and you sip on it, and it tastes really good, guaranteed you needed the salt. And then the second sip and the third sip and the fourth sip, you're going to notice that it doesn't taste as good. And the, with the second and third and fourth sip, you're going to meet your salt needs. Drink salt water if you're under adrenal fatigue issues, if you're suffering from adrenal fatigue issues. If you get up quickly from a sitting position or a laying down position and you feel dizzy or woozy, that's a sign of adrenal fatigue. If you get up uh, uh, for eight hours or nine hours of sleep and you feel tired still, that's a sign of adrenal fatigue. If you're craving salt, that's a sign of adrenal fatigue. All of these are issues that you can take, take care of, that you can fix, or at least partially work on, by drinking salt water. And you'll feel better too. Even better, get your salts from vegetables. Drinking salt water, drinking Celtic sea salt water, not, not uh, Morton salt, drinking a gourmet salt like Himalayan salt or Celtic sea salt, that's good. But drinking or getting salt by drinking vegetables, vegetable juices, vegetable waters, that's even better. Why? Because the minerals, the electrolytes that are found in plants, that are found in vegetables, are in their organically bound form. They have been magically transformed into an incredibly useful form. That's what colloidal minerals are. Yeast, by the way, is also a great source of these organically bound minerals. This makes nutritional yeast one of the most powerful, nutrient-dense food supplements you could ever use. Nutritional yeast, and it tastes delicious too. Yeasts are living substances. Anytime you can eat a living substance, as we talked last week, Anytime you can eat a living substance, you are going to get valuable, valuable nutrition. That means eggs, oysters, and yeast. Those are our major, major, most important living substances. Vegetables were living, and if you pick them out of the ground quickly and eat them, they're as close to living as you're going to get. Along with yeast and, and uh, eggs, you've got three very important living foods that are not only going to supply you with vitamins and protein, they also supply you with these electrically charged and usable minerals. And of course, because plants or animals eat plants, and sometimes sea vegetation if they live in the ocean or they live in water, organ meats, fish, shellfish, these are also going to be a good source of organically bound minerals. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side.
on I Am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. This is your Common Sense Nutritional Program. Everything we talk about here on this program is just basic common sense. You don't need an eight-year medical degree to understand how your body works, and you certainly don't need an eight-year medical degree to understand how to restore yourself back to your God-given birthright of good health and wellness. 844-236-6010 is our number. we got lines open for you. We are here for you on the bright side. Let us help you change your life today if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease or if, you just, if you're healthy and you just want to live longer and feel better. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website if you want to sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team. We would love to have you on the team. Please call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, earn thank you checks for, for helping spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be, or get your products at the wholesale price. You can also sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, we're talking the stress response, the stress response as it shows up or as it manifests via hormones, specifically the hormone aldosterone. This is all as it regards the skin, by the way. We're still talking skin health and hyperpigmentation and melasma and oily skin and inflammatory issues of the skin, eczema and psoriasis. These are all related to, to a, a, a manifestation. These are all manifestations of the stress response. Stress is, you can think of stress as a perception that we can't cope with what's going on in our lives. Stress results when, when we feel like we can't cope, by, can't cope with the ups and downs, the normal ups and downs of what occurs in our lives. The fact of the matter is we can cope. We always cope with whatever occurs in our lives. So stress is a bit of an illusion, at least psychological and emotional stresses, but they manifest themselves as physical, chemical, biochemical stresses, which are not illusory, illusory, they are real. The illusory physical stress, emotion, I'm sorry, the illusory psychological stress, emotional and mental issues, those can be linked or show up as physiologic stresses, real physical stresses via the activity of hormones, specifically aldosterone, also cortisol and also adrenaline. So what we think and what we feel, while those are illusory in the sense that they're not they're just neural blips and bleeps and quantum flux movement of ions in our brain. That's all, a, that's all a thought is, as significant as a thought may seem to be. No matter, how, no matter what you're thinking, no matter how important it is what you're thinking, it's really nothing more than the movement of potassium and calcium and, and, uh, and sodium in nerve cells in your brain. That's all a thought is, likewise an emotion. These are all illusory but they're linked to real physiologic effects via the activity of hormones. The hormone we're talking about today is your mineral hormone, aldosterone. And the flow of minerals out of cells into the blood is largely controlled by stresses and the stress hormones. This is why it's so important to make sure you're getting enough of these electrolytes via the diet and via supplementation. Organically bound electrolytes, that is the electrolytes, the minerals that are found in plants and vegetables and the animals that eat those plants, are always going to be more healthful, are always going to be more beneficial, are always going to be more useful to our bodies than the minerals that are found in their rock form. This is one of Dr. Wallach's major insights, maybe his most important insight, and probably the most, uh, the major philosophical pillar upon which the longevity nutritional philosophy is built, plant derived minerals are not the same as inorganic minerals. I know we've talked about this over and over and over again, but I still get letters from people who want to know about mercury and arsenic and the minerals that are in the plant derived beyond tangy tangerine and ultimate classic and the various plant derived mineral products that, that longevity sells. Organically bound plant derived minerals are a unique species of mineral. They're complex with plant proteins. Plants have an ability, vegetation has an ability to magically transform rock minerals, which are found in the soil, to magically transform these rock minerals into electrolytic colloidal minerals, electrically active colloidal minerals. Colloidal meaning they suspend in liquids. If your mineral suspends in liquid, 
then it's organically bound. Otherwise, your mineral would sink. Minerals sink in liquid. Try go, go get some rocks or some uh, some soil. Put it in put it in uh, some water, and you'll notice that the rock elements sink to the bottom. But when they're organically bound, they float or not float. They suspend. They hang. That's almost like a miracle. When a mineral hangs or suspends in a liquid, it has an ability to generate an electrical charge. This makes these drinks, these electrolyte mineral drinks that come from plant-derived minerals, super beneficial, super usable, super helpful, and by the way, super non-toxic. That having been said, the importance of colloidal minerals is primal. The importance of plant-derived minerals, plant-derived electrolytes supersedes the importance of any other minerals, but you can still get nutritional benefits from a good mineral salt like Himalayan salt or Celtic sea salt, which contain a well-rounded spectrum of minerals. Probably not going to be as beneficial as a, a vegetable electrical drink, but drinking Celtic sea salt water or Himalayan salt water can still get you some benefits, especially if we're deficient in these electrolytes following long-term activation of the stress response. Anyone dealing with hyperpigmentation, melasma, hypertension, or any other manifestation of the stress response, i.e. most of us, we will benefit from electrolyte drinks, and that's where the Beyond Tangy Tangerine really shines. It's liquid electrolytes. This is why people get such rapid response from the BTT. Most of us are deficient. Remember, the body under deficiency states will suck up nutrients like a dry sponge sucks up water. That means fast. So if we're deficient, and most of us are, and we sip on the BTT, we're going to notice results fast. How fast? Usually within 12 hours, sometimes almost instantly, depending on deficiencies. Electrolytes are basically salts, and replacing these things can be super, super helpful, especially if you're craving salt, especially if you've got adrenal fatigue, especially if you're stressed out, also if you're working hard, especially if you're, working, you're sweating a lot while you're working hard, or if you're an athlete. Celtic sea salt in water is a great salt replacement. Same with Himalayan salt. All veggies are really going to allow you to replace these electrolytes. Veggie juices can be particularly helpful. Veggie juices, of course, will get you plant nutrients and fiber. It's hard to cut. I can't really think of a more well-rounded, easy to utilize, and multifunctional nutritional supplement, if you will, than a vegetable juice. And they're so easy and they're so cheap. You can get, you can get a, a pound of celery for two dollars or less. You can get enough celery and beets to supply you with a vegetable juice, all the vegetable juice you could drink for two days for two dollars. Drop it in a blender with some water, throw in some Celtic sea salt. Not only will you get the electricity, the electrical element of the electrolytes and the veggies and the salt, but the vortex, the spinning action of the blender in combination with water, will, will make, you, uh, make your drink an electrically active liquid, an electrically active beverage. And it's going to be a pretty darn close to instant way of raising your electrolyte levels and getting the adrenal glands its precious salt. These strategies, you guys, are so, so simple, so cheap, so easy to employ and to incorporate into your day-to-day -day lives. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. Both, both uh, websites have search engines. If you miss a program, review, want to review a program, or direct one of your loved ones or clients or customers or friends to a specific topic, you can search benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. And, of course, you can purchase Longevity products right off the website as well and you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites too. You can also head over to our blogs criticalhealthnews.com, criticalhealthnews.com or also pharmacistben.com. Okay, we're talking the stress response as it regards the adrenal glands and adrenal hormones, specifically aldosterone, our mineral hormone. The hormone aldosterone is the link between mineral deficiencies, electrolyte deficiencies, and the stress response. And it's also the link between psychology and mental health issues and 
mineral loss and the stress response. If you're dealing with migraine headaches, TMJ, asthma, frequent colds, cold sores, heart disease, digestive problems, irritable bowel syndrome, ulcerative colitis, any kind of immune issue, rheumatoid arthritis, cancer even, all of these can be caused by exacerbation or chronic long-term low-level activation of the stress response. And understanding how to relax the body is so important. There's so many ways to do it. Now, we haven't really addressed the the psychological strategies, behavioral therapy or cognitive behavioral therapy, also something called mindfulness. If you're interested in learning how to exploit or leverage mindfulness, and by the way, this is not airy-fairy stuff, mindfulness and, and mitigation or relaxation of the stress response is being studied by physicians and, and, um, and high-powered medical schools like UCLA. You can read anything by a guy named John Kabat-Zinn, Z-I-N-N. He's written extensively. He's a medical doctor. I believe he went to Harvard Medical Doctor. He's written extensively about the relaxation response as it regards uh, stress mitigation, relaxation of stress. Also, Dr. Andrew Weil has written extensively about this. It is so darn important to understand how to relax the body, not just psychologically, not just mentally, not just emotionally, but also by providing the body with nutrients. This is one of the major roles of nutritional supplementation. It tells the body that all is well. Nutritional supplements tell the body that there's plenty. The body doesn't have to be economical. There's lots of vitamins. There's lots of minerals. This is why it's so helpful to get yourself on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Star Pack. Make sure you're using vegetable drinks. Make sure you're getting your salts and your electrolytes, eating vegetables, using dietary strategies, getting off of the sugar. All of these, all of these are strategies that tell the body that all is right, all is okay. When the body believes that all is right and all it's okay, all is okay, and there's abundance, and that it's, in essence, summertime on the African savanna, it will harness and marshal all of its resources, redirect its resources towards healing. If you're dealing with any kind of degenerative condition where your body is not healing, guaranteed your body thinks its survival is at stake. Remember, the healing system, the healing process is built into the body. What's the proof? Well, we wouldn't have survived two million years if we didn't have a built-in ability to heal, a built-in ability to handle survival threats. The fact that we're still here after two million years tells us that we must have evolved some kind of system for helping, helping the body, helping our physiology deal with emergency, deal with survival threats. What's happened today is we've managed to tell the body that its survival is at stake 24-7, partially because of nutritional deficiencies, partially because of the crappy way we eat, and partially because of poor mental, psychological, and emotional strategies as well. They're all important when it comes to softening the blow of the chronic long-term stress response. And of course, of course, minerals are also important. And this all has to do with the skin. If you're not, if you don't want to take advantage or leverage these strategies and these ideas for for our long term, for our longevity and for our long term wellness, just for beauty and just for appearance and just for anti wrinkles and just for getting rid of oily skin and just for uh, preventing you know, preventing dark spots, melasma, and hyperpigmentation, just for vanity alone. Understanding how to soften the blow of the stress response is key, and nutritional supplementation, of course, is super important. Tomorrow we'll talk about some other nutritional strategies that we can use, and we'll talk about some hormones that you can get over the counter. We mentioned these before. We'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue talking. Skin health, the stress response, minerals, and hormone health on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Our number, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Let us help you change your life. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members, workmates today. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or skincare or anything you may have heard about or anything we're talking about, we welcome your calls, 844-236-6010. Likewise, if you have a success story or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, let's go to Indiana and welcome LJ to the bright side. What's up, LJ? Good morning. Good morning, Ben. Um, assuming that uh, one is already practicing all the um, uh, all is well strategies that you just talked about, um, but you want a reversed uh, 60 years of uh, plaque build, build up, up in, in the arteries and okay. increase the um, 
elasticity of the blood vessels or the perfusion, okay. uh, perfusion. What supplements would you recommend to do that? Okay. Well, I'm not going to tell you about the oxygen because that's super important for improving circulation. I'm not going to tell you about all the all is well strategies, as you as you eloquently put it. That's exactly what they are. All is well strategies. The blood circulation depends on feeling like all is well. Hypertension obviously uh, will constrict the the blood vessels and keep the circulatory system from moving as it should. So you got to you got to take care of that end of it. But we'll move on from there. Number one, you got to keep dirt from getting into the blood. When I say dirt, I mean digestive dirt. And that includes sugar. So number one, you got to patch up the gut. That's the first thing for clearing out the blood vessels. Bile, bile salts, attack or attach, I should say, uh, uh, minerals, heavy metals. They attach toxicity and drugs. So keeping bile operating efficiently is also important. That means digestive health strategies, liver health strategies, bile health strategies. Number one, if you have any food problems, you got to correct those. Elimination diet, eliminating foods. Do a food diary. Write down everything you eat and write down how you respond to those foods from a digestive system perspective and then begin to eliminate foods that cause digestive distress. And then you want to start to patch up the gut and support digestive health. Bile salts are incredibly important and incredibly underappreciated. Bile salts are actually a type of hormone and bile salts come from cholesterol or bile comes from cholesterol, I should say which is just another reason why statin drugs are so ridiculous because they'll suppress cholesterol and affect your bile. So making sure your bile is operating pristinely, use the ultimate enzymes which contain bile salts and you can actually go get bile salts. In fact, that's one of the first supplements I would get if I was wanting to deal with excess plaque or mineral to calcium deposition in the, in the, uh, in the blood vessels. Uh, get yourself on bile salts and the ultimate enzymes after all your meals. You can get bile, and by the way, that's B-I-L-E, bile salts, not bio salts, bile salts. You can get those at a health, at a health food store and you can get the ultimate enzymes off of brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. A bunch more. Hang tight, LJ. There's a bunch more stuff you could do, and I'll get you. I'll get you a uh, somewhat exhaustive list when we come back from our break. So hang tight. Don't go away. And if you're on hold, you as well. Hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. Eight three eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We're back on the bright side. I'm Farms Ben eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We're off in Indiana talking to LJ. Hello, LJ. Hey, you there, ben, my friend. Um, okay. Uh, don't forget. Um, what is your opinion using natokinase? It's awesome. Uh, arginine, citrulline, and um, uh, it was one more. It was, oh, oh, the heart and body extract. Or, They're all great. They're all great. Arginine, citrulline are super important for cardiovascular health. Um, what was the first one you said you mentioned? What was the first um, thing? Uh, natokinase. Natokinase is an awesome enzyme. One of the reasons I love the Bioluminitely Essence so well as a probiotic supplement is because it has natokinase in it. Natokinase is an enzyme that's derived from natto, which is a kind of soy product, and it is awesome for clearing out the blood vessels. In fact, I was just about to tell you about digestive enzymes in general. All enzymes, digestive enzymes, proteolytic enzymes are going to be super helpful for helping clear out uh, clear out the, the circulatory system. In fact, we're going to talk enzyme health tomorrow uh, on the bright side. And if you're interested in checking out some super high-powered enzymes, super duper high-powered enzymes, head over to brightsidehealthproducts.com. I've been studying enzymes now well, I've been studying them since pharmacy school, but really hardcore for the last year or so. And I'm telling you, enzymes are poised to be the next big thing when it comes to nutritional supplementation and, and using supplements for health. They're already used in Japan and in Europe as medicines. And, you know, when we talk about vitamins and we talk about minerals, well, when we talk about vitamins, we're talking about coenzymes. At least uh, the B complex and vitamin C, these are coenzymes and cofactors. Vitamin K is a cofactor and a coenzyme. I wrote a nice blog piece, or an interesting blog piece, I'll say, about the different kinds of vitamins. You have coenzyme vitamins, you've got cofactor vitamins, you have uh, protecting vitamins, and then you have hormone vitamins. The coenzyme and cofactor vitamins are unbelievably important, but they work because they support enzymes. The enzymes themselves are what are doing the work, and because of how we eat, most of us aren't getting 
anywhere near enough enzymes. An enzyme deficiency is probably a much bigger problem than anyone suspects. Anyway, you can get all kinds of systemic system enzymes in addition to digestive enzymes off brightsidehealthproducts.com. And of course, the ultimate enzymes from longevity will help too. Those have bile salts in them. Lecithin is also very important for supporting bile. Probiotics are important. Food elimination is also important. Vitamin C, very important for the a circulatory system. It can help magnetically attract toxicity and magnetically attract heavy metals away from, or not heavy metals, but calcium away from those deposits in the, uh, in the, uh, in the blood vessels. Vitamin E is helpful. Omega-3 fats are helpful as well as coenzyme Q10, magnesium, all the B vitamins, all the electrolytes are very important in LJ. Sugar control is also important for helping clear out the blood vessels. Sugar is a major mortal enemy to blood vessels and diabetes and uh, circulatory health and cardiovascular health or deficiencies in circulatory and cardiovascular health go hand in hand. That means it's not eating the sugar and not eating the bread and the pasta and the potatoes, etc. And then also using chromium and vanadium, the sweeties and the beyond tangy tangerine, which all help you metabolize sugar. Niacin, vitamin B3, super important for helping the body process sugar as is magnesium and uh, chromium and vanadium. And then chelation or magnetically attracting minerals out of the body can be helpful. We mentioned vitamin C, vitamin E may have some chelating effects. Selenium, your ultimate selenium can help with chelation. There's a, one of my all-time favorite non-essential supplements, as you know if you've listened to this program, is something called N acetylcysteine or NAC. NAC and selenium work hand in hand along with sulfur. And between NAC, sulfur, and your ultimate selenium, you've got a wonderful chelation complex. Now chelation therapy, intravenous chelation therapy, or even oral chelation therapy with something called EDTA can be ex unbelievably important, even if you don't have problems with your blood vessels, even if you don't have circulatory problems or de deposition of plaque problems, just for longevity and just for wellness, chelation therapy, intravenous chelation therapy is an amazingly, amazingly helpful uh, health, uh, health strategy. And I personally, I haven't done it in a long time, but as I get older, I'm sure I'll be doing chelation therapy. You can also do it orally. You don't need to go to a doctor and have it done IV. Um, selenium is chelating, as I said. Algaes can be chelating. The Fucoid Z can be chelating. And probiotics, this is one of the little known benefits of probiotics. In addition to being very helpful for the digestive system, they also have chelation properties. So, got a ton of stuff there, LJ. Lots and lots and lots of stuff you could do. Uh, last but most certainly not least, caloric restriction is a wonderful strategy for helping clear out the blood vessels. Does that help you, my man? Yes, thank you so much. Good deal. God bless you. Good luck with everything. Hope that helps. Okay, let's go to uh, Rose in Virginia. What's up, Rose? How you doing? Rosie. Mm, let me see if I hit the button the wrong way. Rose. No, it's not mine, but it's somebody else's. Yes, ma'am. I, I heard of this beautiful man. He comes from a Coptic family. That's the Egyptian uh, Christian, um, you know, Egyptian Christians, he, he was mentioning that his mom died because his uh, lungs, they got filled up with water. But I know of another case, too, that he has pneumonia. So I see both cases related. Can you explain a little bit about pneumonia and how it's, can a person overcome that? Yes, pneumonia, you want to think about the immune system. Pneumonia is an infection. It, uh, interestingly, uh, pneumonia, which, which is a cause of death, uh, it, it usually affects people who are already sick, people who are already uh, predisposed in one way or another. You got, uh, it's basically an infection in the lungs is what pneumonia is. The air sacs in the lungs become infected with bacteria or virus, sometimes molds, and uh, you end up with fluid accumulation. All the, all, you get just the basic inflammatory response that happens when you have arthritis just happens in your lungs. And it's bad enough when it happens in your joints if you have arthritis, but if it happens in your lungs, it can kill you. There's a, it's pretty darn common, actually, but the, the fatalities that are associated with pneumonia usually occur in older folks or people who are compromised in some way. The way you deal with pneumonia is the way you deal with any immune problem. You got to strengthen the body's ability to take care of itself. Now, in the case of acute infections, there are antibiotics that are important. And, and I'm not a big believer in drugs, as you know, if you listen to this program, but antibiotics are an exception to that. 
and pain pills. Antibiotics and pain pills, although both can be abused and both can be overused, antibiotics and pain pills are certainly times when you want to, uh, when you want pharmacological intervention. The way to take care of ammonia, pneumonia is to prevent it from happening in the first place, and that's to keep your immune system strong. And the best way to keep your immune system strong is to make sure you're eating correctly, make sure you're nutritionally supplementing, make sure you're staying away from sugar, and make sure you're relaxing the body. Where have you heard this before? These are the same basic things that we all have to do. Watch what we're eating. Avoiding food, food intolerances and, and food allergens, or foods that cause intolerances and foods that cause allergic reactions. Remember the immune system, the defense system that's going to be fighting the bacteria and the viruses that are causing pneumonia, that's located mostly in the digestive system. Immunity and digestion go hand in hand. Now you have some immunity in the blood and in the skin and in the lungs, but the vast majority of the immune system is going to be in the digestive system. So by controlling what you're eating, staying away from allergens, staying away from food toxins and building up the gut, preventing leaky gut syndrome with your glucogel caps and your Fucoid Z and your Biolumin Nightly Essence, making sure you're using enzymes and apple cider vinegar after meals is a must. And if you already have a pneumonia, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're getting liquid nutrition, especially liquid immune boosting supplements, vegetable juices, and chicken soup, homemade chicken soup. Jewish penicillin. They call it Jewish penicillin because it's so powerful for building the immune system. The cartilage factors specifically. Also the liquid protein helps. Make sure you're using vitamin C. It is the most powerful vitamin immune boosting immune boosting vitamin that there is and high doses of it by the way 5,000 milligrams a day not all at once because you'll get a little bloaty but throughout the day vitamin E is very important for the lungs it'll also support the immune system the aforementioned excuse me N acetylcysteine selenium and sulfur can also help with pneumonia and then of course keeping your sugar intake down and supporting sugar metabolism with the B complex with niacin especially timed release niacin which can be very helpful especially if you have high blood pressure timed release niacin is a wonderful supplement and then chromium and vanadium make sure you're sipping on the beyond tangy tangerine all day long make sure you're using your omega fatty acids and make sure you're using your osteo fx magnesium by the way also has a particular particularly important relevance when it comes to lung health and that's not just for pneumonia that's also for asthma or any other lung issues and magnesium deficiency is actually one of the more common nutritional deficiencies because we don't like eating our veggies and veggies are your best source of magnesium all right i hope that helps thanks so much for for your call rose and that's all the time we have for today i'm pharmacist ben thanks for listening tomorrow we'll continue talking the stress response and how the stress response can be mitigated and softened using nutrition and nutritional supplementation and dietary strategies and then we'll tell you about a couple over the counter otc hormone strategies that you can use as well I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Check out my website, brightsideben.com. If you want to purchase any of our Truth products, including Retinol 5% Gel, head over to truthtreatments.com. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. Bye for now.